All right, welcome back to Ali Akta S. This is tutorial 23, and it's really a continuation specifically of the last tutorial on uh, an amphibious assault. So last time we were talking about preparing one, um, and this time we're going to do it. Okay, so um, if you remember, we were working with our forces here in, in Genua. Um, so let's just bring them up. I've gone a couple of turns ahead, kind of, well, in case you're wondering what's happened, um, Pompey is, is is on the is is hitting us in the east and um, comes some little action little action other places. Uh, I've moved Caesar east. Let's take a look at that at the, after the turn is is run, but um, yeah, let's look at the tutorial aspect of it. Um, okay, so our force here, our two legions, and I had and I put a comment in the last um, tutorial tutorial twenty two about getting our legionary marines up here, and I did, um, and that gives us some benefits on amphibious operations. 0% uh, of the penalty associated with naval naval landing. And you can also use it when you're um, doing a river crossing. So yeah, there you go, it reduces that as well. Um, we have our two legions, we have our naval, our legionary marines, we have our supply wagon. So at this point, you say, all right, we're ready to go attack. So. Um, one interesting, interesting thing that happens, the Numidians decided to join the Pompeian forces last turn. So it kind of works out well. It's pretty interesting. So if I click on the owner overlay, you see, okay, the Pompeians, they own this. Um, well, technically the Numidians do, but now they're aligned uh, with the Pompeians. And now I'm let's see what the strategic locations are. And there are two, um, Utica and Serta. Now... We have a couple options here. Let's so we want to go after an objective city. What I'm what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to land here in uh, Rusade. If I'm saying that correctly, and then um, hopefully defeat them there, and then move farther south. That is a size one fort, so it's really hardly an official fort at all. This is a size two fort. So we don't know what's here. It's completely in flag of war, so we're going in blind. But I'm pretty confident we can do it. So we have our army force and we have our naval force. I'm going to merge the two together. Okay, now technically it's become a naval force only because the army doesn't really, you know, fight on sea. I'm now going to drag the naval force down to the region that is um, next to Rusade. Okay, I'm going to click on this disembark button, or sure, distant unload order, you know, call it what you want. It's basically the, the middle icon over here, and it has, it's just a ship with an arrow going out. So you click on it, and then the question is, okay, where do we want them to disembark? We want them to disembark here in Rusade. I then click on that. Okay, and now you can see that it's kind of like a blue, I guess blue for, you know, naval flashing. So what is what is going to happen here? The naval force carrying the army is going to go to this region. They're then going to unload them here. Okay. I'm going to have them on assault uh, offense. Okay. And um, we will have evade combat order. So... Basically, what is happening here? I want the naval fleet to try to avoid combat because we're not really interested in them getting into a fight out in the sea. I want them to get to this coastal region and then disembark, and then when our army disembarks, to assault this small town, basically. Okay? So let's proceed to the next turn and see what happens. Um, okay, so I'll talk about what's happening in, in the game. You, just, you probably know this is game two, the first game I stopped. Um, which is for most of the tutorials. Game two has been—it's been quite different. It's interesting. No, uh, Pompey went east instead of going west. None of those big um, amphibious operations on their end in Italy or Sicilia. And now what I'm doing to meet the eastern threat, I'm having to move Antony's force and um, Caesar east, and that's where they are now. There are still Pompeian forces in the west, um, but they seem to be smaller ones, sort of dispersed and. Uh, yeah, but definitely a lot of action going on. I had a good naval battle against the Popeans where I pretty much sunk a, you know, looks like an, basically their entire fleet. Um, we're going to lose that. 
think. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Right, urban militia. All right. Um, so it's day 14. I think our fleet kind of arrived at day 16, and hopefully they're guess I'm working now. Oh gosh, we've lost again. There we go. So they've arrived. They disembarked, and it's an easy victory, really. Very few men lost. Um, we might have caught a, might have captured a supply. Yeah, we didn't even capture a supply train. Let's look there. So that's a plus. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna get to see some new opposing forces down there. And now we're in a naval battle. So it's, it's nice to see the naval battle happen after. Um, after, and I would say this, this is something I've, I've seen in the game. A lot of their these naval battles, they're the opposing force, but they don't have any admirals. I'm not sure what's going on with that. If you're playing the game, make sure you have an admiral. And I've mentioned several times, you want your forces to be well led. Otherwise, it just means, you know, you're just kind of silly to throw them away. And it's like they, they lost half their fleet. Um, so Caesar's doing, Caesar, the Caesarian forces doing quite well on uh, on the sea. All right. Um, what I want to do is I want to I want to bring up the replay of the turn, and let's kind of follow. I want to follow our our fleet from Genoa down. So there it goes. They're moving down south, further south, further south. And they've arrived. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go back. Oops. Too far. Okay, so what I want you to see here is they arrive and then they start to they start to land. Looks like it took them a few days to land, and then the battle happens. Um, you can see they captured that supply uh, supply train and then made the naval battle. Um, oops, let's go back. So hopefully that's pretty clear. It's a great um, you know I love I love I really love doing this. It's a great way to kind of. Yeah, open a new front uh, over here. Is there anything there? It looks like, yes, there is. They, they do have some forces there, but um, they got some equities around as well. So kind of a new exciting thing. Let's see what happened over here. It's, and um, yeah, so um, we've yeah we've consolidated a large force. I think we'll be able to push them south again. Looks like things out west are looking for, well, not bad, but they did uh, defeat us here. So, all right. Um, well, this has been tutorial 23. Um, so yeah, there's how, that's how you do an amphibious assault. So I say use that, use that, use those abilities, and I'll see you next time.